Hello and welcome to channel UTM. Uh, this is a tutorial based research channel where I show you my uh, research results, uh, the research uh, in action and uh, basically uh, if you can't get your head around it uh, this channel shows you how to do it yourself. Um, simple as that. Um, I show you the stuff and uh, you can go and do it yourself. Okay, um, this is, I, I'm thinking, it's a part two, um, we're at Iapetus again, um, sorry for going back to Pluto, but I didn't realise it was a, a Pluto um, moon, and, um, but hey, there we go, um, my files are there's stuff all over the place, so I'm just I'm just picking what has got um, enough work on it, so I can uh, do this for you. So, as usual, it's that that's my favourite one. Um, obviously, the it's the uh, mission logo. Okay, so if you remember, at the towards the end or the end of the the last um, the part one. Uh, we had a look at this and I had a quick a quick uh, fiddle with it and um, we could see some stuff so um, we're going to be looking at this one um, not an easy image to work on you don't have to work on it um, too too large it come it says it's 4.9 here but I think it's the program I still haven't found out why they come in larger but it's about where are we um, 1.5 meg which is quite um generous really for the for these uh photograph so um okay sorry for flipping around uh, um but have a pause and have a read um very little on this i haven't done any more research into it but i have to, it's got like um a very distinctive massive ridge that runs around it um be it north to south or whichever way i don't know because we don't know if the the, the images are presented the right way up etc uh, etc et um but it's a small small planet 912 miles across um and let's uh, look um there is a little movie i haven't looked at it um where it says um, and the peaks some of them are topping six miles high so incredible okay so this is the image in question and um, we did yeah full screen um, you did have a look and um, also on this channel as, as well, if, you, if you're still here, I, li I like to get into the, the makeup of these images and, and uh, things that don't look right, um, what to look for, um, all that sort of stuff um, to help you understand the image and uh, understand what I'm finding um, and looking at, etc. So you can see this, this image is very... Uh, it, I would it looks airbrushed so don't don't take my word that it is airbrushed but uh, it has a very soft feeling it's very bright um, and a not a true representation of uh, the planet's surface so what I would uh, initially do is um, just quickly go into this setting here and we're gonna I'm gonna put some contrast in there and make it so initially before we start just to have a have a butcher's at at the image um, I'll be looking at this what is he looking at but this is something that comes uh, with experience when I when I first started watching this sort of stuff, I couldn't, 
I couldn't understand what they were looking at. This is why I have such an interest in, in the images, um, because they are so pre-edited. And uh, what you have to understand as well is that we're back editing. So um, it can be very difficult to get to grips with what I'm trying to present to you. So you just have to give it time and that's what it is. You have to, you have to get used to the image. So um, this is why the, the videos can be quite long as well. Um, and for you, for the guys who um, are following this channel, sorry for repeating myself, but um, we have to tell people what's going on. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it's right to present an image and and state what you think it is when, and that's it, and not give any explanation of uh, where it came from, what it is, or you know what's been done with it. You know, you could you could say anything about anything, and and then you know people will believe um, and the way people perceive stuff as well is something I'm gonna be getting more into as well because um, we all do it's just the way your brain works so okay let's get into the my edited version which as you can see looks a lot better it's been uh, it's had slightly colorized um, and the nature of the tools as well bring saturate depending on what um, uh, range you're working on down here all the tools and everything are explained uh, it's very simple you don't have you don't we don't use a lot of tools when we're doing this um, so let's get into it and like I say you need to give yourself time to um, adjust to these images uh, you can see here i haven't done much work on this so we'll do something on this and it, it is actually harder the, the 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 foreground of the the picture is more difficult to um edit than the background um obviously it's just a it's a visual perception is it people tend they start at the front and they go to the back and um your eye will follow anything that's highlighted and uh, just to make that point again um, there's very little to sort of follow and uh, uh, um, for the eye to track and um, it, it can be done in this sort of uh, frosted manner or it can be done in very contrasting whites and blacks and stuff and it just pulls the eye to places um, of interest it's just a natural a natural thing so your eye can be pulled to somewhere where um, there isn't any interest or or vice versa or and you know it's um, if you look at the other videos, it goes into more depth in uh, on various photographs about how they draw your attention to or, or or don't in respect of finding anything or not finding anything and vice versa and so on and so forth. It's very, very cleverly done. So, let's have a look. Now, yes, it is blurred. Um, but this is something uh, uh, we have to deal with. Um, and apologies to people who are looking at this on a phone. I don't know if this is going to work. Um, but with this image, um, the closer in you get and uh, the more you look at it, the, the more you'll understand uh, what's going on or... Or, or not, because that's where the questions start. <coughs> <coughs> it did, excuse me. Right. So, let's start down here. Now, there is an element of the striping um, that we've we've mentioned in other images. It's not too bad in this, um, and I will. Um, do something I think I'll stick it in a tutorial um, video about um, some of the process 
processes they say they use to improve the quality of these images. Um, but you can make up your own mind about that. Okay, so let's let's uh, start here. And what I'll what I'll initially do. This is quite a quite confused this area, um, but um, I'll do some I'll do some bits and bobs on it, and uh, as usual, and um, see what you think. I mean, as as we can uh, see, the familiar familiarities. Sorry, too much coffee again. Of um, of these images, all the structures, the shapes um, that we keep finding, um, and the way these things are structured. Um, the construction design of sorts it is very similar it's it's like a tiered type sort of uh, terrace um, thing going on with um, various structures upon them um, and various uh, which I believe are sort of uh, could be travel um, tubes or type sort of thing I mean it's it, it's open to speculation because uh, none of us none of us know so let's have a look so, now, this is quite an interesting area which um, you know for someone looking for something that it that isn't natural and uh, the description of Iapetus is um, it's heavily cratered in some areas and then it's icy icy plains and big fractures and that type of sort of stuff and it's uh, rubbish basically I mean the general um, you call it atmosphere weather however however you want to say it might well be like that um, but there's no reference to these type of sort of things so a bit re reluctant to try drawing on stuff here but I'm just going to give it a quick go never know what I'm going to do so you can see this coming down here oh black green We'll forget about that. I will just uh, point it out. Um, right. Okay, so we've got this area here. Which clearly comes along. And it may go down, it may not. Uh, it could just be the angle that we're looking at. That the uh, pictures have been taken from. Let's see if I can get any more out of this. And what I do when I'm doing this, um, I like to get in really close. This is why we enlarge the the image. It doesn't necessarily give it. It doesn't add any more information to the picture. It can only sort of interpret what it's uh, is already in the image 
but when we when we pan back out it uh it uh, condenses shall we say and uh helps you view what is going on a lot better So the more you look at this, I mean, I'm not going to ponder on it too much because uh, we have a technology which, which is called the pause button, and uh, I highly recommend just pausing it, having a look. I don't know, step, stepping back, um, and just finding the right, the right uh, field of view for, for yourself. I mean, and everyone's going to be different. Um, find this quite uh, interesting how people um, view stuff and uh, it's it's a case of um, I think people trust their their uh, minds the way their mind perceives things uh, a little bit too much because um, through through me doing this and you know asking asking the questions you know what is that and, we're gonna, uh, and just being completely surprised with with the stuff I'm I'm finding um, then uh, it is a case of rethinking your your own your own brain that's why I try not to, to label anything too much and things, because as soon as I say something is, you know, people are, are very happy to take that explanation and uh, and uh, you know make it real. And it might be, it might not be. I might be completely wrong. So uh, take all those things into account. And uh, I sculpt and illustrate, and uh, I've always been into sort of fantasy and things like that. I'm trying to get into conceptual um, sculpting at the moment. It's a bit late in the day. I should have done it years ago, but hey. And uh, you find yourself um, referencing, you know, all sorts of stuff, you know, be it organic animals or mechanical or so you really have to pay a lot of attention to to what you're doing and um, I think it's if it helps or not um, is another thing but I think I've got my my brain to a a point where uh I think everything I'm seeing is is the genuine article and not anything else. It's something I want to get into, um, and I don't want to put anyone off. Um, but I've been looking into sort of uh, pareidolia and, and things like that. It's very interesting, and uh, I've got a few examples and things like that. Um, so you can see what I mean you know when people label stuff or they say that this is here and, and there and and you know the they haven't researched the image enough um, to make these assumptions and uh, that that it's totally honest you know you have, the, the what you're saying is how your brain is 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 totally perceiving it and you think that's totally real so um yeah it's interesting stuff chit chat anyway anyway let's get back to this so we were looking at this area here and you can clearly see it goes up and down onto another platform which extends 
out here and then clearly a circular structure here with something in the middle and so on and so forth once you can focus on that understand that as not looking very much like a natural geological formation then hopefully you can extend it throughout the rest of the image so we can see how this now is extending all the way through the image so let's have a little scan around it if anything pops out uh, like all of it I'll, uh, I'll stop and uh, can have a look I'll do some uh, let's do it at this level this um, what do you call it zoom percentage Look at all this over here. So we have to imagine this is we've got some pers perspective here. Um, we I spoke about the angle of inclination in, in relation to the angle of the that the orbiter takes the photographs at but this was actually taken at I think it was about 75,000 miles away or maybe not maybe I think that might be the next one hold on let's just have a quick look no, it doesn't doesn't say the flyover if it was a flyover it's probably anything from two to 400 miles uh, above the surface sort of thing so we are getting perspective and um, if you look at this area here so if we imagine this being the top and obviously that's a shadow and then we go back more shadow so you can imagine these things being terraced or not terraced so that if we ended up being bird's eye view on this it could all look flattened out it, it, I'm sure you understand what I mean but I think um, with these sort of angles and stuff it gives it gives us more information um, because we get the shadows we get tops sides and fronts of um, these structures probably going to be doing more of these you know part one part two part three um, purely because um, I tend to open quite a lot of them because I like to have a look at various um, photographs to see if 
what I'm finding on <coughs> one exists on another and uh, that seems to be the case and it's just more evidence and uh, if they're interesting enough then uh, I'll show you Let's have a look in, uh, let's just take the saturation off this, um, or off rather. It's worth checking it, everything really. Sometimes the, um, I think I was explaining to one of the subs, um, you can do this in, in a, in a color picture or a colorized picture and it can get too much. So you might have to find yourself, um, turning it to grayscale. So it's black and white basically and then saving that as another file and uh, reworking the black and white one it, it works it works pretty well <coughs> excuse me again okay These are the familiar things on these um, tracks or platforms, raised areas, however you're interpreting them. Um, they seem to get to points where you have these little platform areas, they're um, square, triangle, oval, I've noticed now, um, with little domes on or, or towers and stuff. And we find found those everywhere, everywhere. I don't know what I don't know what they are, or um, you know how big these things are. And it did say, you know, some of these peaks are. What is it? Two and a half miles, six, six kilometers high. So, um, so another, another thing you have to get used to is that the scaling of this stuff is just quite beyond what, um, like I was talking about earlier, our perception, you know, and this isn't, um, this isn't something we visualize either. It's that our perception is that it's in our head. There's no nothing for us to uh, relate to apart from maybe a science fiction film you may, you may have been watching or something. So it's all about reworking um, your brain. Let's have a look at this area. It's 
So you notice that I'm I'm missing out the light a bit. So it's almost like it's filling in the gaps. If you are new to this, um, this tool I'm using um, just darkens or lightens um, three different shades of uh, the pixels or tones rather down here. Um, so I'm not laying anything onto the image. But I do have to control the extent of this. So that is down to my, the way I view it, my perception. But like I've said, I'm just trying to get it to a stage um, to a clarity where I'm hoping most people would be able to see something that is not conducive to what the image what been told about the image or what the image is um, not showing you in the first place. So that is obvious stuff you look for, you know, angles, um, circles. There's also repetition as well, you know, and, and people do go, oh, well, there's pixel compression, and it's like, please, please do uh, research into it. It's uh, it's not, it doesn't happen on a scale like this. If you've seen the other videos and stuff, I mean, these, this is not isolated at all in these images. Uh, these images are covered with this stuff. Um, and if that was the case, uh, then NASA would need to get rid of all their hardware and software and start again because it is a, a false representation. Plus the fact all this stuff is hidden. And I, ca I can't remember which uh, video I did, but um, it does state on the on the the little bit of information they give you that the something about that these uh, were is or are photographs that um, are prepared for researchers. I don't know what the researchers do with them. Uh, nothing. So, it's just simple stuff. Well, it's not. It, if it, what it is, is obvious stuff. Show you the uh, where these are my pixels here. So you see that circle. Sorry for repeating myself again. Um, you see that says 25. So that circle that will be 25 pixels. That's my image. When you get pixel anomalies, they are um, at this level. So you'll get a pixel within an image, and it would just be. An odd little shape, you know, something uh, like getting um, a piece of dust on a celluloid film or something. So as you can see, this it doesn't happen on the, this scale. This is why it's interesting getting in close.
And you can see the details coming through, which it which does surprise me. And this is, you know, this is how far you can go with these images. So you can imagine how long it would take. So if we step back a bit, this would be the top. This looks like uh, an opening of some description or oops. So you can go too far with the with the tools. There you go. I mean this looks like a constructed Thing. And then you start working away from what you've got to reveal more and more. All across here. <clears throat> so no denying. These uh, constructions are very unusual looking. Um, but if you do see something that looks very, very familiar to, I don't know, what would you say to, to large industry or anything like that, let's, let us know. Um, we can have a look at it. I mean, I've tried looking at tons and tons of, uh, you know, big stuff on Earth. Pictures of just big stuff and it's... Uh, Little snippets and things like this that you find. There you go. Clearly, another occupied moon of uh, Pluto. See this area, uh, it sort of fits to a central point here. Well, that's what it's looking like.
But like I say, just pause and um, have a look. So, okay. Um, <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, let's just have a look at that place. I found this the other day. This area here. Got some very clear constructed lines here on a huge scale. We can only imagine, you know, if these peaks are anything from or up to two and a half miles high, then um, it's something else. Clearly, some sort of circular looking thing going on there. I remember what I said about, you know, the, how your brain works. Um, yeah. Okay, guys, right, I think this is, uh, this is part two. I'm going to do another one because it's, it's just very, very much worth looking at. And uh, I think you'll appreciate it. So that one will be coming out as well. Okay. Nice one. And thank you as always. Um, do all this stuff. And uh, leave your comments as well. Um, it's great to hear from you. And the people who are doing this uh, research for themselves now. Which is uh, just awesome. Okay, guys, thanks and uh, goodbye.